All right, students, so it's 24 hours since I did the plate yesterday. And if we have a look, we can see there is stuff growing. Now, your plates will probably have similar things to it on this. Now we're going to look at how to get some of these off the plate and do a very basic stain. We'll do a more advanced stain called a gram stain later. But for now, we're just going to stick with a standard purple stain. So in order to start this, we're going to use toothpicks to apply this. Now we want to make sure we don't get any of this on us. If we do, we want to use hand sanitizer and absolutely do not get it in your mouth. It shouldn't be a threat to you, but we don't want to take any chances. With your toothpick, you'll find a colony that you like the looks of, that you would like a closer look at, and just very gently rub the end of your toothpick in. You don't need a big glob. Just by touching the toothpick in there, you're going to get plenty of cells. Cover your plate back up and move it aside. And now we're going to spread this tiny amount of stuff on our slide. I've got a second one running on the slide right now, just so this will go quicker. You put it on there. If it's thick, you can get a little bit of water on a separate toothpick and spread it out some. But not too much water, because it's going to have to dry before we can move on. After it dries, I will heat fix it to the slide for you. That means it will be passed through a flame. But of course, that's a little tricky, so I'll be heat fixing all the slides for you. But once they're heat fixed, we're going to put a drop of crystal violet. This is a very aggressive stain. You do not want it on your clothes or anywhere else like that, as it will not come off. That's why it's called a stain. So, after your stain has sat on your cells for 60 to 90 seconds, we're going to carefully rinse it off with alcohol. And you can see, as the alcohol washes away, we can see where the cells were that I'm staining, and now they are bright purple. So uh, keep applying the alcohol until you stop seeing the purple dye stream off of the cells. That would mean they're relatively clean. One more ought to do it. And at this point, now we have a stained cell culture. The stain will make it so it's much, much easier to see the cells and their properties under the scopes. Whereas you can see here, our seconds patch, not much color to it, so it would be a little harder to see. So this is how we'll be doing our basic stain. You apply the cells, let them dry, they'll be heat fixed, and then we'll apply crystal violet, or perhaps another stain, depending on the day, and let it sit for 60 seconds to, well, at least 60 is good. It could sit up to 5 minutes, but not too much longer than that, or it's hard to rinse. Then we rinse it off carefully with alcohol, let it dry, and we're ready to look at them under a microscope.